NBA young boy now has 12 children. Jesus Christ. Another one. You know, the same as Nick Cannon, and while Tyreek Hill has 11. Uh, Tyreek, I don't know what you're doing. You got to catch up, my boy. We can talk about this guy or this guy or this guy all day long. But when are we going to talk about these ladies? Bad. Before the Godfather passed on, he told us that most of these women having these babies are having these babies by the same men. He ain't lying. Say it with me. Accountability equals responsibility. 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 And this is proof right here. You don't have to be a millionaire ass nigga to get multiple women to have children by you. Why do you think this is okay. And then when these kids grow up with all types of issues like abandonment or having issues in their relationships, you wonder what the hell is going on. And then the moms, what they're going to do is they're going to blame the father for not being around enough. He ain't lying. Fuck them kids. How in God's name can these men possibly be around enough for all these children? They have to go to work. They can never stop working. going on everybody welcome back to another one hit that like button subscribe to the channel tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever i upload content you know what we're gonna do yep roll that clip might be controversial to say but when it comes to men like cam newton or like nick cannon or like future who have eight different kids by three different women and still want to get married and have more children who are these women that are still willing to date them? Wait a minute. Like how, as a woman in good conscience, could you knowingly be sitting up on a date with this man or on a vacation with this man, knowing that every minute he spends with you is a minute he's spending neglecting his children? And you, for some reason, think that things are going to be different for you and for your kids you may have with him. And even if that is the case, if he's the perfect father to your kids or the perfect husband for you, he's neglecting eight other innocent babies. Yep. That is disgusting behavior to me. I don't know, diabolical. I don't care how much money he has. How do you sleep at night knowing you're contributing to the trauma of eight children? That's insane to me. See, let's talk about this. Ladies, ladies, come here. Stop telling men to do better. Stop moving the goalposts, ladies. Stop telling us that men need to do better and then women will do better once men do better because guess what? You choose the men. Pow. Oh! You choose them. You can't keep getting mad at men. Get mad at yourself. Stop moving the goalposts. Stop it. Get some help. You're the one that's going to suffer, not the man. We don't suffer when we give you a child. We can leave. We can go. We can disappear. But you're the one that suffers. See, this is the other thing, ladies. Stop saying, oh, I'll do better once the men do better. You can't keep holding men accountable until you hold yourself accountable. Because at the end of the day, ladies, you sleep with them. You open your legs. You give them the child. So how much accountability falls on the woman? Modern women are just like Maury. Y'all ever saw Maury? Raise your hand if you saw Maury. All right, we got a couple. We got a couple people. So don't you remember when Maury would say, Andrew, you are not the father. <laughs> and then the women would be like this.
Come here, come here. Look, this is respect, man. I don't know about me and you, but I got you, man. I'm gonna take the whole point of the show is that I believe that the women knew that the guy wasn't the father. She just made it up in her mind that he was the father to suit her narrative. And a lot of women are just like this. They'll make up a story in their mind to suit their narrative that has nothing to do with anything. He ain't lying. You ever saw a woman that's a baby mom complaining about the baby dad and in your mind you're just like, You chose them. You chose them. You can't get mad at your choices, ladies. You opened your legs. You gave him a child. You said yes. Dr. Bryant said that 70% of women are low functioning. Y'all ain't talking about that. Dr. Bryant talked about how a lot of y'all women are delusional. How you have these fantasies made up in your mind of the men that you want. And then the actual men that you're dealing with, when they don't live up to that fantasy that you created in your head, you deem them not to be good men. Y'all ain't talking about any of that. Women love watching her hold Cam Newton accountable. But when are y'all going to be ready to be held accountable? Oh, uh, shit. Because you want so bad for somebody to sit up and hold men like Cam Newton, Nick Cannon, NBA young boy, young dirt. You want people to hold these type of men accountable for the broken homes, the womanizing. But guess what? It's kind of hard to hold these men accountable when everything that you could tell them that they doing wrong, y'all women show them otherwise in your action. Every one of the men that I've named are men who have multiple baby mamas, known to be cheaters, known to not be good men, but do you think that will ever stop them from being able to pull gorgeous, beautiful women? No. 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 No, it won't. And so as long as they bad actions are always rewarded, there's no reason for them to change. I don't know when women will truly understand the power that you hold and the access that you give men, but as long as the access is always available, there is no true consequences. And since there's no true consequences, there's no way to get these men to change because there's no benefits in them changing. They get the same thing for not changing that they get for changing. So if they don't have to make any adjustments to get what they want, then why would they? It's as simple as telling a child, if you're good, I'm going to give you some candy. But if you bad, I'm going to still give you some candy. So what's the reason for them being good? Like they're going to get the candy whether they good or bad. So why exactly would they go out their way to be good when they don't have to? They still going to get the same thing they would get for being bad, for being good. That's what this is. You can tell Cam Newton and all of those type of men how wrong it is for them to do the things that they do, but they get rewarded at the end of the day. So as long as they get rewarded, there's no reason for them to change. And they won't. You know what the difference is between men and women? Men, gather around. You need to stop dating women that use you for money. You know why, guys? They're only out for your money. You need to date a woman that's with you for you. This is what men will do. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the MVP. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. <laughs> Ladies, you need to take some accountability. You need to do better. You need to avoid bad men. You need to realize that the red flags are there and pay attention to them. This is what women will do. So there's a stark difference between accountability with a man and accountability with a woman. Women don't take accountability because accountability begets responsibility. That makes them responsible for their decisions and they don't want to be responsible. They want everybody else to be responsible. So that's the reason why women don't take accountability.
Say it with me. Accountability equals responsibility. 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 Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you liked the video, leave a comment and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>